Hey, so in this video, I wanna share with you guys how I paid off my student debt. I had about $23,000 worth of debt when I finished university. And I'm gonna share with you these quick strategies that you can do as well if you have student debt, how to pay it off. So uh, one of the first things I did is, um, you know, I was I studied in, in in university as an engineering student, and I um, didn't know anything about finance, right? So I didn't know anything about budgeting, about finance, interest rates. I didn't know anything. Um, so what I did is to understand what I was in. Uh, what I did is I consistently I would go to my student loan uh, department and I would ask them how much. Uh, money uh, I have to owe, as well as I would visit the bank and I would ask them uh, well, how much is the interest and how does that add up to the monthly payment. And then based on that information, I would take that info, I would put it on an Excel sheet and I would tabulate how much it would cost me per month if I were to pay it off in one year, in two years, in three years, in five years. I would break it down into different you know, scenarios and I would try to see which one I would benefit from the most, right? Uh, and then I would also calculate how much interest it would be charged to me if I, you know, uh, paid it off in three years, paid it off in five years, right? So uh, I would break it up into different scenarios, and I, I made a choice. I meant, look, look, this one is the best option for me because I'm gonna have to pay less student loans, right? It won't be a drag on my mind, like consistently thinking about it, right? Um, and you know, uh, I won't be stuck. Uh, having to pay it off and continue working, right? Um, my goal was after university to take a break. And, you know, because I've been study, I'm studying in university for a very long time. So I wanted to take a break. I don't want to go just jump into a job and just continue working for the rest of my life, right? I wanted to have a break. Um, so what I decided to do is, um, you know, uh, break it down to different scenarios to see uh, what would be the best option for me to attain freedom? And when I mean freedom is like being debt free. I didn't want debt to tie me down and hold me uh, and, you know, tell me how to live my life. Right. Because sometimes what happens is, you know, because of, of all our expenses, uh, our life starts to be molded in, in, in a way that it's like based on our expenses. Right. Uh, you know, we don't. Eat, uh, eat from restaurants, you know, we don't buy a certain, you know, uh, car or live in a house because of our expenses, right? And so those expenses shape the way we live our life. And I don't want that. I wanted to have that freedom. If I wanted to travel, I could do that. You know, I didn't have all these expenses tying me down and not having any money saved over because um, I wanted to enjoy, you know, the, the money that I was earning. I didn't want to just for it to be gone towards expenses, right? Because what's the point of earning all this money where it just goes to expenses, right? Like money is supposed to create memories, experiences, right? For you, for your family, you know, whoever you're earning this for. It, it, you, your, our life is not meant to be just paying bills and running after that. And I didn't want that. So I was tired of, you know, um, I was tired of, of, of like just trying to get by in university. Um, and so, um, so yeah, so I covered what I did first. I was like, I try to make it realistic. I figured out how much my total loan was. I figured out how much of my interest was. I was going to these authorities, you know, the, the bank and the student loan center asking how much it was. I started breaking it breaking it up into monthly payments to see how realistic it is for me to pay it off. As well as when I was in university, um, because I didn't want to just start working right away, I started working before. So while I was in university, I was earning money. So that money was helping me pay for my school, my my food, and as well as I was a lot. I was being able to you know save money. So that way, I when I finished university, right, I was able to pay off a huge portion of it, and that was my biggest advantage because you know twenty three thousand dollars. Um, like if you don't pay it off, the interest, it just starts adding up and then just like, it's never ending. Right. So, um, I, I didn't want that. So what I did is after I finished university, I, I was working for, you know, I, I worked a lot. Um, so when I finished university, I was able to take uh, $10,000 and I put the entire 10,000 towards my student loan. So then I had about 13,000 left. So that $13,000. So instead of me paying that off, what I decided to do. I decided to travel, right? Um, and so I had put in 10,000 for my student loan and had saved up a bit, you know, that would allow me to travel. So, um, you know, and I planned this ahead of time, right? Because when you plan, 
you can, you know, you can achieve your goals and targets much more easily, uh, right? When you're just doing it last minute, right? You're being reactive. So I was proactive. I planned it ahead of time because I really wanted to travel and I really did not want to be in debt. So uh, I, I continued working and then I traveled and then I came back and then I started, you know, um, I still had $13,000 left. So when I came back from traveling, right? I got, I got a job very quickly. Uh, because I still had expenses and had that student loan. Um, so I was paying for student loans. I was paying for my expenses and I was saving money. And what I started doing was not only did I get one job, I started getting two other jobs as well. So I was working in the morning from eight, uh, eight, uh, eight o'clock in the morning until like four 30. And then from five to 10, I would work my second job. And then in the weekends, I had a I would have my third job. So I was working like consistently for, you know, uh, the entire day. And I was able to save, you know, uh, a large amount of money in a very short time period, as well as not only that, I also started side hustles. So, you know, I would try to find cell phones that were very, um, you know, in demand, and I would get them at a low price, and then I would sell them. That would, you know, give me uh, a bit of, you know, extra money. So I would, I would always try, you know, flipping these, you know, small items and trying to get that extra money, you know, wherever I can find. So I was always trying these side hustles, and you know, um, after a couple of years, uh, I realized that not uh, after a couple of years, after a couple of months, I realized that I was working way too much and I was getting tired as well, right? Um, so I was like, this, there has to be a better way, right? Uh, I'm not seeing my family, I'm not going out, right? I'm not even able to enjoy the money that I'm saving and earning, right? Um, so what I did is I started learning about finance and investing and saving and budgeting and um, how to earn more income. And so uh, over the couple of years, right, I was able to pay off my student loan completely. So $23,000 gone. Um, and I was able to also, um, you know, the money that I earned, right, the biggest thing was you know the thing that I that I didn't like the, uh, the the worst thing that happened to me when I was earning income is like I would always lose it right like when I was in university I saved that ten thousand dollars at the end of the university I lost that ten thousand dollars it was gone so I had to restart from zero and get you know money back again right so that was very difficult so like after I came back from my traveling I told myself look I don't want to lose money anymore right it's it's too tiring to start from zero or negative and then you know, try to get back uh, up to, you know, your target, right? So what I did is I wanted to create a plan for myself that I have money, I use it to make money. And then, you know, whatever profit I make, I use that to pay off my expenses. And that's exactly what I did. So now the strategy that I use, right, not only did my student loan paid off, I'm able to keep, you know, over six figures in savings in my bank account. So whenever I need, you know, uh, money for something and, you know, there's an emergency or I want to go somewhere, I will never have the option of not having enough money because I will have, you know, money invested that I could always use it, you know, for my lifestyle. And that's what I want for you guys, right? So once you pay off debt, right, you can start focusing on actually building income. You can actually focus on, on, you know, uh, going after the, the real goals that you have in life. Um, and so I just wanted to say, you know, um, you know, I, I'm very blessed, you know, I'm very thankful that I was actually put into the situation where I had, you know, opportunity to go after and, you know, pay off my debt. Because once you paid off, you know, it's honestly, it's like freedom, there is nothing holding you back, right? You, you want to go after your goals, you want to go after, you know, you know, uh, things that you really want, like maybe traveling, right? Maybe you want to buy something for your family. Um, you can really focus on that, right? It's not only about yourself. Like it's not only about wanting things for yourself. It's about wanting things for your family. And paying off debt allowed me to do that. So, um, you know, it could be just buying a, a TV for your family, right? Um, maybe, you know, your, your, your family has like this old TV and it doesn't work properly, but you're able to, uh, you know, purchase a TV for them. Or maybe, you know, your, your family is, um, you know, consistently washing dishes, you know, by hand and you want to provide comfort to your family and you want to just buy a dishwasher, right? Like it's $500, right? But uh, I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it could be a lot of money if you don't have enough. So uh, paying off debt allows you to focus on all these like little targets to improve your life, but also your family's life. So that's really cool. So um, 
Yeah, I encourage you guys to, right? If you want to pay off your debt, the first thing you need to do is you need to clarify how much you actually have, right? And then you need to also uh, verify how much interest uh, is, you're, you're being charged, right? Because the thing that, that, I, that I dislike the most about my student loan is like I was paying, uh, I was losing money even while I was sleeping, right? Because the interest charge it's consistent. It's 24 hours. It's working against you, right? It's it's never ending. So uh, the only way to slow down the interest is to completely pay it off. So uh, I I didn't want you know to be working for you know um, you know just to pay off my student loan. I didn't want that, right? I wanted to you know, get out of that you know that race of just like chasing this uh, machine, you know, that's building uh, expenses, right? Uh, I, I want to be able to build a machine that helps me build wealth, but I don't want to be able to, uh, you know, uh, pay expenses uh, with that, you know, interest. So, yeah, I, I was super, super, super uh, against like, you know, being able to increase my expenses while I was sleeping. So I need to have, I knew, I knew I had to pay it off. Okay, so I paid it off. Um, and sorry. Um, I made it realistic by actually figuring out how much I owed. I found out the interest. I found out the monthly payments. I broke it down exactly how much I can uh, pay now and how much I wanted to pay it off if I wanted to uh, get it paid off within a certain time period, right? So it allowed me to go after those targets and make it easier, right? Guys, don't make debt be something that controls you. Um, you know, the, once you pay off your debt, you'll be able to focus on more things, you know, more fun things for yourself and your family. So uh, I hope that this encouraged you guys also to go after your debt, uh, get it paid off, you know, and then you won't have anything holding you back. If you want to travel, if you want to eat somewhere, if you want to buy a certain car, if you want to provide some certain gifts to your family, you can do that with much more ease. You can sleep better. You can focus on your health. You know, you can focus on building relationships with your family, which is one of the most important things, right? Your health and your family relationships. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope that this encourages you as well, right? In the beginning, I was just an engineer. I didn't know anything about finance, but slowly, slowly, right? I read a couple of books, I watched a couple of videos, and then I implemented, right? Uh, I put myself in an environment where I had to perform, right? I had to uh, go learn the side hustles to hit my monthly targets to pay off my student loan. And, you know, working, Step by step, little by little, I was able to pay it off. And so, yeah, I was able to do it, you know, because it was important to me. It was a priority. So I hope that you can also make this a priority for yourself and one day be free from student debt so that you can go after what you actually want out of life. All right, guys, so I hope you like this video. Uh, please like this video if, if you got some value out of it uh, and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and more tips like this about finance, about saving, budgeting, expenses, and investing. I'm going to continue uh, making more and more videos like this every single week for you guys. So stay tuned for the next one. Hey guys, as you might have heard, I just wrote a new book called Broke to Six Figure Secrets. It's um, how to keep more money without getting an additional job or working more hours. So in this book, you know, I talk about my journey, how I went from zero to six figures in a very short time period. You know, uh, I, I was a university student. I was in debt. I had $23,000 in debt and I was able to pay it off. And um, how I did it, you know, wh where I got my knowledge one, or where I got my knowledge from and, you know, what is the things that I learned? So I, I broke it down in this very simple book, right? It's not very thick. It's very simple. Um, and I break it down very simply exactly, you know, what you need to do, what I did, you know, to get to six figures and uh, not only earn six figures, but actually be able to keep it and then use it whenever you need it in, in life. Right. Um, just imagine having six figures in your bank account. Right. Like how much uh, of a relief that would have in your life. Right. Um, you know, it, it would take away all your stress. Right. Um, you know, it, Imagine, imagine having, you know, salary for the next three, four, five years, right? Like how much of a break would that give you? So uh, in this book, you know, I, I broke it down very simply. It's not a, you know, a big book. It's a, only 147 pages. And I, I just break it down very simply um, how you just as a normal person, right? Uh, I, I'm, I'm a regular guy, right? I just finished university. I didn't know anything about finance, but I had to learn. And, you know, it took me a long time to learn this knowledge, but I broke it down in this very simple book, right? It's very easy to read very easy to consume. Um, so if you have expenses, right, and you are just trying to get by um, and your expenses are controlling your life, but you want some room, right, you want to, you know, provide a better lifestyle for your family, you want a better lifestyle for yourself, um, you know, make sure to get a copy of this book. I'm going to leave a description below in the comments 
uh, in the description where you can get a copy of the book. All right, guys, so that's it for me. I hope you guys can grab a copy and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.